What's going on guys? Uh, this is going to be a cruise update. I think I'll caption it 2,000 mile, you know, update video. Um, let's see here. I didn't click the reset on this until a couple hundred miles after I got in the car. Uh, as you can see, it's up to 1,600 on the miles that it's recorded. Uh, average miles per gallon, 32.7, and average miles per hour is uh, 34. So, uh, let's get out and uh, I'll tell you all the things I like and don't like about the car. Alrighty, so I guess we'll start on the outside and really have no complaints at all whatsoever. So, I really like the way this car looks still. Uh, these Michelins that are on it. It's got uh, 225, 45, 18 Michelins on it, and they are really quiet. Um, the They do great. Had a ton of flooding yesterday, and uh, never even hydroplaned once with it. I mean, they just, they do great in the rain. Like I said, they're real quiet. They get good grip. Of course, you know, we're got like 100 horsepower, so not really worried about traction in that sense, but really like those tires um, only thing I've done on the exterior and I believe it was in the first video was just the plastic dip stuff on the badges so haven't done anything else I uh, still want to get one tent I will eventually but uh, if you follow me on Instagram you might know that I have recently got engaged so uh, car money funds are pretty grim right now so uh, eventually we'll get it tinted, but it's definitely not a priority right now. But, uh, I, like I said, still loving the way it looks. Um, so no complaints on the outside. Uh, let's go ahead and get in. And, uh, I have a couple, couple gripes, but not anything bad. Um, so let's see. For starters... This little armrest, you know, taller people, this shouldn't probably won't matter because you'll be you have your seat further back where so it'll be longer. But let's see if I can get in here. All right, so driving like I barely can get my elbow on it. Like it's it's not very comfortable. The seats are so big. I mean they're really comfortable seats, but you know they're so big that you would think they would have an armrest like a a decent one. But they don't, so that's one complaint. Um, just not real comfortable with your arms. Um, this isn't really a complaint, but it is weird that this, these are your door locks, not on your door, it's right here. Uh, now some people complain about this because uh, you can bump this and change the temperature and stuff with your leg. Uh, it hasn't been an issue with me. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Absolutely love the remote start on this car. Uh, I use it every day, morning and afternoon. It's just so good to have the car warmed up and ready to go as soon as I get in it. Um, along with the heated seats, I have never been in another vehicle. I'm talking about the $100,000 Corvettes, Dad's Hellcat. Not a single one of them has as good a seat warmers as this car. I mean, you you hit it on the three dot, and that thing is hot, and you are you got to cut it down quick because it'll about burn you. Um, but it does great. I wish they were air conditioned seats, but you know, beggars can't be choosers right here. So that you know, not that big a deal. Um, I wish the windows they're automatic downs, but not up. So that's slightly annoying. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's cut this on. Let's see if I got anything. Really, don't have hardly any complaints about this car. Uh, the motor still is perfectly fine for normal driving. Have no complaints about the power on it. Uh, gas mileage has been great. I'm gonna do a gas video. This is this is a little teaser. Um, so this is on one the one tank. I filled it up the other day and reset it, leaving the gas station. So 
Uh, we'll see how many miles it gets out of it, and uh, but you see 33.2 miles per gallon average with 34.3 miles per hour average um, on this one tank. So I'm going to see just how far it can go and uh, give a accurate reading as far as one tank on that. And it cost about $27 to fill this up. $26.27. It's been that twice. So. Uh, pretty good cheaper than Tacoma or the Mustang filling up obviously the Mustang has to run 93 so it's more expensive but uh, still good with that um, these seats love these seats they're super comfortable um, it, it is weird that the heater um, it goes up to like 85 degrees I think on the temperature and then it goes to high it's like it gets hot but then once it clicks from the 85 to high, it's like blazing hot. So that's just kind of weird. I don't know if that's like something wrong with a freaking car or something, but I don't know. AC blows good. Um, let's see. Uh, back seat, it's done great. Um, me and Darla took Huey to the dog park the other day. He rode in the back just fine. Um, so yeah. Um, Keyless, the keyless uh, thing. Oh yeah, proudly built in Lordstone, Lordstown, Ohio. I butchered that first day around trying to read it through my phone. <laughs> but the keyless entry, love that. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean it is just so amazing getting to drive this every day instead of having to drive the Tacoma sorry all Tacoma bros but I mean those having a jacked up Tacoma I mean maybe a new one with you know better suspension not as old as mine or something it might be better but boy it, it's I got tired of driving that thing every day and uh, obviously uh, gets a ton better gas mileage this car will go one tank of gas will last uh, two weeks driving to work so in the Tacoma I'd be lucky to get a full week out of one tank so saving a good bit of gas money on that so that's really awesome uh, hmm I don't know sunroof first this is my first vehicle to ever have a sunroof and I absolutely love it don't really like putting it back but I do like how you can make the back of it kick up just to let a little air in and it it's not loud at all. Um, I don't like the, when, when you let the thing back, it like pops up a little windbreaker right here and it kind of looks weird. So I don't, I, don't, I don't really like that. Plus it's loud with, the, with it all the way back. So yeah. Um, like I said before, got engaged. So honeymoon will be coming up. We'll be going down to the beach. So. We'll be taking the cruise down there, and uh, it's about a 400-mile drive, I think, one way. So we'll definitely put some miles on her there, and uh, see if I love it when we still when we get back. But so far, guys, still loving the cruise. Um, wouldn't have guessed it, honestly. Even, even, you know, it's just, I don't know. It, it seems weird to talk so highly of something like this when this is kind of just a point A to point B kind of car but I'll tell you what guys you got a little extra change you want to get you a, good, a great daily driver check out the cruises find one for a good deal I definitely would recommend holding off on a good deal on an LTZ um, base models no hate no hate for the base model guys you know if any, if any of y'all watching this got the base models no hate but um you know the, the wheels that come on the ltz you get the fog lights you get the lot better trim you know rs comes with a couple different things but you know if you can wait and hold out and find you a good ltz even if it's an rs as well like this one um definitely worth it it's really really nice for the money you're spending and uh yeah i plan on keeping this car for a long time hopefully it doesn't bite me for all the all the crap i've talked about chevrolet in the past you know just jokingly with friends of course but um yeah really loving it i know i've kind of drugged this video out 
by now. So if you're still watching this, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and leave a comment. Uh, tell me if I need to bag this thing. I'm just kidding. I'll see y'all the next one.